Hello everybody, welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm your hostess Ty and I'm back here today with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time we left off, we finally got through the second trial, had our... Uh, had the black end of our group punished and found out something interesting about best girl, uh, Maki. We found out something interesting about Maki. So now we're getting back to our daily lives pretty much and... What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Chapter 3, Transfer Student from Beyond the Grave, Daily Life. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Come on, man. What the heck is this? It's like Weapon Warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the Moda video, right? Monokuma said that everyone's ultimate talent. Oh, Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her Moda video. And because you saw that. Mm -hmm. hmm? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah. You could probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She's had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please, give me data, please! If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing everything one was there to stop her. But what about next time? Best let sleeping gods lie. The talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Huh? But... Got it. I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Uh, wait. You don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack. A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um... Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Shouldn't Aikido Master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Um... Alright, that's one way to cheer someone on. Wow! That kind of...
kind of happy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Aki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Ugh. Ultimate assassin, my ass. I'm always messing around. Huh? Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Let's leave everything to Kaito. Get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Well, that's fucked up. Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Oh! I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Monokuma! Everyone, get behind Gonta! Himiko, get behind me! I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe! I just said I don't need your usual reactions! It's almost half time, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. I said, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. <laughs> Yay! They're finally here! Yay! You're so cute today, it's practically obscene! Seriously? Just... Wow! You guys are seriously cute! Ha have you always been this cute? <laughs> ah! The shock of my super cute kids! Seems to be making me... Go bald! Like... In patches... He's actually balding? Ugh, gross! Ah, uh, I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? From now on, I will be calling the shots. Ha! <laughs> Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. Father, you're too old for- Oh, wait, crap, I- Ah! Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long you've become predictable. It's the age of the bottle cubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? But what about all the longtime fans who... Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? Has-been? <laughs> Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. You really think you didn't can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? You were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the Exosol. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father, but the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. Well, no way! Are you saying the treating you kids like my property was wrong? It's completely and utterly wrong. No, 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 no way! Oh, yeah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald. This time, for good. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. A wonderful prize. Um, let's see what the prize is this time. 
I had a feeling it was more junk. Aw oh, man, we didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway. And his name is Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new area together. Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... so what are we going to do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Yay! A new area means we can all have lots more fun! I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, alright? <laughs> Got it. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. Yeah. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Um, let's just leave him here. Yep, <laughs> Monokuma is just gonna be there. Uh, I suppose I should try out these items around the school like last time. Can I smack stuff? Yes. What all can I smack? Just the suitcases? Looks like just the suitcases. That sucks, all these guns and I can't smack them. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, let's go ahead and figure out where all this stuff goes. So we have a golden hammer, a ninja scroll, and a key. Oh. Well, that's obvious. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. No, go back. Let me go back. I want to talk. Never mind. I wanted to talk to them, but I pressed it too quickly. Oh, well. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. The door collapsed. It looks like we can get to the back now. What, I wonder, is beyond here? Perhaps someone awaits us? Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. Weird way to put it, though. A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing... Dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would stop you. Um. Hmm? Tuxedo's essential essential for gentlemen, but mask too? Well. I should go. Uh let's go to the fourth floor. <laughs> the frightening ap atmosphere was so oppressive I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um, what is going on in here? So, um, 
made up story that a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop! If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone! Um, oh, but she's saying a made up story, so that means it's okay, right? That was so simple. So little. So we got a haunted area as the school, as the fourth floor. This area feels spooky. Gonta scared too. It's okay. The murder story was just made up. Not just story. Gonta just have weird feeling. Maybe stain on that wall over there is blood. It's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged? Monokuma or the Monokas probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um... Samugi, does this kind of stuff bother you? Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake. So I feel okay. But Gonta, you were so reliable j until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and a mask. Huh? Oh no! But tuxedo is essential, essential for gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Um. So there are three rooms back here. Oh. <laughs> Really? I saw that. Excuse you. Candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. I can actually kind of see because of the fact that my um, my brightness is high on my TV, but I can tell it's probably kind of dark. The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. There are no windows here. It get pitch black if candles go out. Right? Uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well, I can't imagine many people do. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh. This floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Really? Mm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But, but each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. I'm going to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But, but it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor. So it might not be good to go over there. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. It doesn't look like there's anything important here. Just an empty room. This not only empty room. You see three same looking doors in hall, right? All of those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light too. Ah, so there are three of them. Anyway, we no gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um, then, can we leave soon? The darkness in this shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown in. But there are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. So I guess that means I don't need to check the other... what the heck? I can tell it's supposed to be another room, but it looks like a painting. Wait, it is a painting. It's a painting of another room, or a hallway. Huh. Okay, cool. Anyway... This must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab it is. I should look inside.
It's almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little and a little eerie. There are obvious there there are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. It would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... Oh, Incredible. can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kiyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that particular to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? There's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect for what? What are the statue and cage for? I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day, indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. Alright, let him just be happy about that. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rested in places, but looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated in gold, gold leaf. Ah, so it's not made of gold. That said, that katana has immense anthropo anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars were worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Mm. Now, this katana is the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly, or I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Ew, my hands are all sticky. My gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. So can I smack any- Can I smack other things? Smack it. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. 
With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is! How amazing. It's actually real. Um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, it is an extremely be? precious document. Do you this book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? The Caged Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed by at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. One-of-a-kind. That is valuable. Yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these those copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... uh Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. But it seems there were, those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now. You mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to, to anthropology. Dim dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead... Say... Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Speak with the dead? Huh. If it were possible, I suppose... I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I want to say is, we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. One must I call it them. Myself. Only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Alright, cool, I'm gonna leave. I think that's the most I've heard Keo talk this entire time. Um, is there anything else here? That's not what I actually wanted to click, but you know what? It's fine. Nope. There's more here. That's not creepy at all. What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Huh. So, pretty sure I'm supposed to use something there eventually. Man, this place is creepy. Hmm. 
It's the door to an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Huh. It's locked? Yep. Seems like it. I guess we can't go in. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance in the end of the hallway. But that was locked too. If both the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening. And then the door slowly opened. Can I help you? Hmm. Angie? You were in here? Hey, hey. I feel we are chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in! Please come in! Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. That's a lot of paint. There were various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist lab. But why does this lab have locks? Patua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Oh boy. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Oh. God, I hate this. <laughs> Wait a second. We said I was going to answer that question. No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? You promise. Because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. <laughs> Wait. Um, ew. <laughs> Oh, wait, Monodon. We weren't fighting. We were just messing around. You know, because we're friends. It's fine. As long as you're getting along. So, what's up with the key? Oh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Wow, like a porn star. <laughs> How? It's the opposite. So any room where I'm gonna make art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised the Mana Cubs knew that. Huh? These are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Calm down. I'm even worse. We know everything about you bastards. Because we want to be your friends. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, now, Monodon. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. There's only one key, so don't lose it. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the inside from the outside. Let me see that key. Monodon swiped the key from Monophony, then lifted it to his mouth. Nom. Ah! He ate it! Gulp. <laughs> ah! He swallowed it! Boop. Boop. Uh, ah! He's flatlining! Uh -oh. What are you doing? If you 
swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, Monodom, you're so reckless. Let's carry Monodom away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So, does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh, but I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Uh, oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way. Those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specially made for us? Monokuma has claimed that before, but is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Smack! Yes! Smack! Wow, can I really smack almost everything in here? Okay, most, but not everything. That's pretty much everything, though. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Mm. Uh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh, oh but I too was the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. Ah, I see. Seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask. That's kind of scary. I don't think there's really anything else to look at. This door isn't the one we used to come in. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember ah, right. And the door that we use. Yeah. yeah, that door has a knob and a cylinder lock. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry in the golden ratio and such. And then... But I think a symmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. Alright, fine. We'll leave. Have fun, Angie. I just knocked away all your paint. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so let's see. I can't teleport. But I can teleport to that floor. Okay. I'll teleport to the, 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 the. Oh my god. No, go to the front door. There we go. I'll teleport to the front door. <laughs> 
because I know where one of these goes. I don't remember where both of them go, but I know where one of them goes. So, this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end today's episode. When we come back next time, we'll get to do more exploring and figure out where these other two pieces go. Proof that you clear chapter two, a memento of Kurumi. She always wore them as she worked for everyone's sake. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, like always, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be notified of all future content updates, including more Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Apex Legends over on my Twitch channel on Sundays, and whatever I end up coming up with in the future. If, of course, you have any suggestions for games you'd like to see me play, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. And just leave a comment saying hi if you'd like, because I do like getting those comments. Man. One of these days I'm going to go and get all of the friendship fragments for everyone, but that will take some time. Like always, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.